What's going on everybody? My name is Paul and welcome to my skill point guide, one of the final guides here in Ratchet and Clank. And this is going to be the first guide I release. So, first off, you want to go to Florana and stay squeaky clean, which means going through the path of death without taking a single hit. And this means from the fire, from the enemies, anything. So, you're going to memorize the patterns and just make it across. It's not that hard. Kind of easy. It's going to be two tries. Then, what you want to do is head to the Starship Phoenix, and there's a lot of uh, skill points here. Buy the Inferno Armor. Some people may think it's expensive. When you go into challenge mode, it's very easy to get. This game is very easy when it comes to getting bolts. There, there's so many planets you can go to and get all the bolts. But uh, it's the perfect timing too because the armor is really strong. And what you want to do is also head to the the, uh, the, the front deck and just throw your wrench and scrunch. You're not going to be able to catch him, or it's going to be really hard to catch him otherwise. And then also, head to the VR training room, go to the VG Gadget Training, the Dynamo course. Make sure you did this once already, so that way this wall right here is hacked and so is the other one. You can just blaze your way right through the entire course, and what's going to happen is you're going to get the skill point. Now, this was where I got a Titanium Bolt as well, remember that? And yeah, horrific memories right there. But it's really easy. This one, I love the Dynamo ones. You feel like Spider-Man flinging your way through it. Damn you, phone. But that one's pretty easy. Now, the next few are pretty much done on the quirk mini games. Now you have to get 100% meaning getting all the health tokens and the normal tokens and I'm gonna be posting it like in a unlisted video in the description to show you guys just the raw footage of me playing if you guys need it. It's not that hard, really easy actually and you just gotta make sure you search everything but the raw footage of me doing the entire 40 minute thing is gonna be in the description because I can't edit that, that's too hard and uh, yeah. Okay, now you also have to set the quirk record times. That's another thing you have to do besides just getting the 100%. That means there's going to be a time limit for per stage in the description as well, telling you what time you have to beat per level, and that's a bunch right there. That's like five skill points. Not too hard, not too easy. And uh, you also have to go to Arcadia right after and use the refractor. Now you can just swing it around like this and get enemies killed and I counted the entire thing so that I make sure that I, I was sparingly using this. You don't have to kill every single one. There's a ton of these guys. I killed about 25 of them with maybe 10 left. So you just want to aim for these little guys mainly and try to make sure they don't walk into the beam. Make sure you do the final blow. It's not that hard at all. Really easy actually. And I think I got around this point. Yeah, there's a strangler and then bam, skill point. Now you also want to go to Annihilation Nation and then you're gonna have to destroy Scorpio with just the wrench. This is kind of like the chain blade challenge except for this guy was a lot easier for me. I don't know why. Just when you attack him this close, he can't get you off of him no matter how much he tries. You can't. And I wasn't even using the Inf was I oh, I was using the Inferno armor. Never mind that, but I was just destroying the crap out of this guy. I didn't even look at the HP. I was just swinging. I like, get over here. I'm gonna squish your brain. And yeah, that, that was a pretty easy one. And a few others you have to do here is in the next challenge, you're gonna probably have to destroy the cameras. Damn you, phone! But there you go, I see that you finished this one. You have to beat all the gauntlet challenges, meaning the courses are like this, there's eight of them. And as well as shoot out those cameras right there, there's five of them, I think, if they shoot out. And uh, you can also do one of the challenges flawlessly. Any one of these challenges, do them flawlessly without getting a single hit, like the, the path of death. And you'll get one. So there you go. Look at the little bar I set up right there. It's gonna change for around. But see that? Really easy. That was my eighth one. And you can pretty much tell. Just read the description per per match, and you'll see which one's a gauntlet challenge or whatnot. Now you have to go ahead to Quatos, and I did this the dumbest way before I even figured out about this. But uh, head to Metropolis before you head to Quatos. Make sure you head to Metropolis. Do every challenge that's in this. Part right here, helping out the rangers to the last one, by the way, and then you're gonna get the map omatic, and there's gonna be cutscene right here. So, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Without this, you're gonna have so much trouble. Thanks again, Sarge. Me and the guys wanted to get you something to say thanks for saving our butts all over the galaxy. Everybody chipped in. We got you this map omatic. Oh, you guys are the best. Yeah, now you want to head to Planet Aquatos and you'll see every location of the crystals. It's going to show up like a Superman symbol. And I, I did this, I got down to 17 crystals without using this, but this is the best way. I did not know. I was just derping it. That's the last of them. 
Now I can finally make my wife that sewer crystal necklace she's always wanted. Say, what are sewer crystals, exactly? Oh, trust me, it's better you don't know. Well, boys, I'll be seeing you one of these days. Okay, now, while you're on this planet, head to the area where the pools are, and in both pools, you want to destroy every single TNT crate you have, because that's 40 crates that you have to destroy for the skill point. Just hit every TNT. It's not that hard at all. Really, really easy. I don't even need to put this in the guide, but you know what? I'm doing it anyway. And there was two pools, so there's the second one, and there's also a bolt hidden around here, but I'm going to show you guys that in the later on guide. And this was pretty easy. Um, get these, and skill point. Now, destroy 10 tier noids with the flux rifle. I destroyed 10 tier noids, but some of them are small ones. I don't think they count. Just shoot the ones out of these sniper perches. There's three per sniper perch, and there's like five of these. Just take them out off of this. I guess those are the ones that count, and these are the ones they were intended for. Like this, right to the crack, bam! And there's one that survives. You can get your ass whooped. No scope. But overall, this game was just awesome. And when it comes to the bolt guide and stuff, that shit's hell, but for the most part, this game is still awesome. And this guy gets shot in the back. Taken out. GG. No re. Okay, on planet Dax, you're going to turn these flies into the Quackeray ducks. It's really easy, and it's a good way to level up this gun. And there you go. I leveled up to like level 5 right off of here. Damn. So I got the skill point. And uh, I think it was one more. Oh no, the Abami Gen Gemini. This one's kind of difficult. Follow this path, all right? You just pretty much follow the arrows. And I moved over here. You're gonna try to make your way onto the asteroid belt. Now I had some trouble with this and then I found them a really good technique that I pretty much made up on my own. I didn't read any guides for this. You're gonna have to Make your way to this point, just follow the arrows on these jumping pads. And then right here, when you hit here, press the L3 or R3 button, the one that makes you show the show the map like this, and look for those flat tipped rocks. You have to look for the flat ones, try to time it, look at it, it's gonna approach here, I'm gonna look at it again. See, it's right there in that crowd. Not all of them are flat, some of them are just circles, and then you're gonna follow it, see this flat, these two are flat. Got the skill point. Really easy. And when you fly with the charge boots, you fly endlessly because of the weird gravity on this area. I love it. It's awesome. You feel like Superman. I was doing this for a while. And then I fell. But it was epic. It was really cool. I wish they had this throughout the entire game. And I'm going to go now. <laughs> Black Order City. You want to kill 20 enemies with a wrench. So just pick up, like, I picked the last challenge, I think it was. The final challenge where you have to take out these two turrets. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Just take out 20 of them with this wrench. Really easy. Self explanatory. And do I get it here? The Meteor Smash, which, the, which is X and Square, is just one of the best things you can do, as well as throwing a wrench, making it up, like the utmost deadly uh, weapon. And by the way, guys, I'm holding the laser thing, and then there's a cheat code for that. You can easily Google it, or you can get all the skill points and you can still activate it either way. It's not that hard, it's not illegal or anything. Now head to the Holostar Studios and in the slot machine area. I actually kind of passed this in the Let's Play, and you guys should remember this too if you guys don't. Just play through the area and you'll find it. This weird, this is a weird room, but uh, just keep hitting all of the damn slot machines and eventually you'll get that. It took me like three tries and I had to kill myself per try. But uh, anyway, when you land on Metropolis, this is right next to the ship. Pretty much, look around for a blimp. It's gonna have a cork symbol. Snipe that shit, and it's gonna go and fire. Kaboom! There's your skill point. Really easy. I love the ones you can do straight off the ship, and. On the next planet, the crash site, and damn you please, shoot out these pterodactyl screed ducks, kill 10 of them, I killed them all from the ship, and you can see them across the map and hit them across the map, which is amazing, and uh, I don't think if you die, it'll count. If you die, and then you have to find more, you have to redo the entire thing, but it's still cool. The vendor is down here, and then also, you want to kill 40 enemies with the suck cannon. Now this, I got the suck cannon from level 1 to level 8, and this is just a training exercise for it anyway, but I randomly ended up getting it. Just suck up all of these guys, and this gun becomes a really powerful weapon. You're, you're gonna be able to shoot these guys out like that. I took these guys out with these new, improved shots. These things are super powerful. Too bad it's not my go-to weapon, but it, it's really powerful with this level. I 
think I'll level up to V8 as well, but look at all these guys who can just suck up and then use it up on the uh, medium to large size. Guys, no homo. And this was a really good area to train. I trained almost all my guns right here. I got all my money right here because when you get to this point, you get nearly like 50 to 100,000 in like a minute, not even. So this is a good part, part to train at, and I think I just started launching them right here. See that? By the time I reached here, I got it, and this is only halfway through the map. And the V8 as well, see that? Yo, stupid, drink V8. Okay, now Planet Iridia, just shoot these guys with the reflector beam, and I know you guys are thinking, there's no beams. Look for the big guys that shoot these beams, and then you can redirect it to their teammates, so they can't hurt you with it. Just redirect it, and it's a really powerful beam, so you have to be careful not to kill the guy until the end. But look at that, I'm just gonna blast these guys with it. So one hit kill, take him out, fly across, take all his buddies, get my skill point, get the hell out of here. Yeah. And there's a trophy, you get a lot of trophies and every time you get a new skill point, you pretty much unlock a new skin for your thing. And also I did this in the last play, just jump over here and land it. Don't, don't feel like I did, but that was the way you're gonna get that skill point. Um, and now you have to find Snow Dan. Now he was hidden in Ratchet Clank going commando. And all you have to do is head to this point right here. When you kill these two corks and then you see this glass, jump over here, do not glide. Just jump and you can find Snow Dan, take him out. Very easy, make sure you don't glide. It may, might have looked like I glided, I didn't, I jumped. And uh, yeah. On planet Koros, you want to destroy all the breakables and this planet is amazing for farming bolts. You get so many and I just made sure that none of these are breakables. And I only went through halfway of this level and I ended up getting it just like in Metropolis on Ratchet Clank going Commando 2. Um, just keep smashing everything. Kill everybody with a Rhino if you have to. Smash everything in your path and halfway through you're going to get it. You don't have to go all the way even though they tell you you have to go all the way and sometimes they're a bit uh, douche-ish with these type of things. But it was a really easy one. I actually liked it because you farm so many bolts. Take out this guy, and then I took out these guys. Try to head to every corner so that way there's nothing hidden from you. And then right around here, the skill point. And the final one was the command center, and you want to infect 30 of these enemies with the infector, and you leveled up this thing really fast. Like always. I loved how fast it was to level up these things. And then, this one was, it was pretty easy. You just gotta run around splashing it on people. And this was the first time I was going through your side to do all this shit and stuff like that. But uh, damn, I type in a shit ton of commands. Holy crap. This was the final one, and if you guys enjoyed this guide, please remember to like. Please favorite it if you guys can. This takes a lot of work. I, I don't know why I put so much work in my into my videos. It's just that I'm inspired by you guys, and uh, I don't know. I lost so much sleep over this. It was crazy. But anyway, I'm gonna head through here. I splashed him with it, and then I took out these guys, splashed them up with it, and they're gonna attack each other. So you want to make sure you splash everybody. And I almost died. This is actually like a speed run, trying to just splash everything with my a green slime. But there you go. Leveled it up, and I got the skill point as well. Right. So when I get all the skill points of like that, you can unlock. Wait. There's all the skill points right there. Thirty out of thirty, and then you can unlock the. The wrench replacement, which I think is the mirror. Anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to like a favorite. My name is Paul, and I am out. Peace.